Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, tonight I'm going to be tying a hawthorn. It's a fly that uh, this time of year we'll start to see more and more of. Uh, so it's definitely one to, to have in the box. This is just my wee take on it. In the vise I've got a V170, size 12. In the thread I'm going to be using just a, a black shear uh, thread in 14 0 So we'll put there a quick layer of thread. So see this is just a, there's loads and loads of different versions out there of this fly. Uh, this is just the one I've used over the years. Uh, so we get three or four materials. So reasonably simple to, to tie. Uh, you want some black, uh, some black pheasant tail, maybe six or seven strands of it. Tie it in with the tips. Wind that down. If you want, you can put a wee bit of, wee bit of varnish or a wee bit of super glue or something underneath. Yeah, I find with these flies, you, you tend to get one or two fish out of them, and then they, they tend to kind of start splitting and going. Yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter what you do. Yeah, so we'll just catch that in there and trim that away. Uh, it's a really simple, it's a really, really simple one. So we've got some uh, white marabou. This is just the tips of the marabou. This is what I, I would normally just keep these for tying cormorants and things like that. Uh, if you were tying a cormorant, obviously be that part, but you only need two or three mil. Trim that right there. Trim that away. Key is to try and keep the try and keep the bulk down. Good job. That's slightly too long. It's about right. Once that's once that's waiting in the water, it takes on a different uh, different shape. Uh, now we've got some knotted pheasant tail, uh, dyed black. Probably take four four strands should do it. Don't need to be overly overly neat with this fly. Uh, we're just going to lay them on the top and then a couple on each side. Don't let them, don't let them too long, but at the same time, it's not, it's not that small a fly. The hawthorn, you know, it can be, it can be quite big at times. Certainly the legs. Trim that away. Just come back over and tidy that up. And then I've got some Mr. Cock uh, saddle hackle here. Die black. Sometimes it's difficult to see which uh, which is the front and which is the back when he's Small hackles, but catch that in at the side. Don't know, probably want five or six tons of this. Good 
smash the front a couple of times and draw with everything back. There we go. And we'll let finish. This, as you see, it's a very simple flight tie, but if the hawthorns are hatching, then this definitely does the damage. Push your scissors in, and then trim off the thread, and that's us. You want to uh, just a couple of feathers in front of the eye there. It doesn't need to be overly neat. It's more the it's more the profile of the, of the fly, the uh, the legs and the the black and white combination. I think that does the does the trick, uh, and then just a wee touch of varnish. But it's, it's one to it's one to have in your box, <coughs> as I say, because of the materials that are used. You you get two or three fish maybe out of out of each fly. Sometimes you get more than that, but generally two or three fish, and then. Uh, you need to change the fly. Bring me for the desk here. Clean that out. Yeah, and that's the Hawthorne. I, I, I take on it. So uh, give it a try, guys. Let me know what you think. All the best. Tight lines.